Hey everyone, Zef here and welcome to Bartender Simulator Overview. So here's the thing, this seems awfully similar to something that released before, which is Horror Bar. And I mean, after doing some research, it's literally made by the same developers. On a first glance, it almost looks like a copy-paste game, but with different assets. I start to think there might be a situation where if you release at least one game on the official store, then because of that, you can do anything else and it doesn't matter because you won't have the confirmation process from Meta as harsh as the initial one. So it's kind of questionable why two games, literally almost the same, are back to back like that. And we're here to analyze this. <laughs> So Bartender Simulator is a professionally made arcade game where you start off as a newbie that wants to get into the profession, working through the basics in mixology and, depending on your skill, try to get on top as fast as possible. Fun fact, I actually worked as a barman before, which is not necessarily the same because it's just lacking the, all the fancy moves and techniques. Trash talking aside, what I would want from an actual serious bartending game is to learn some some drinks like in terms of quantities recipes and all that jazz because then you can easily translate that into real life considering horror bar was mostly like a joke-ish scenario here there is a potential to be actually useful and something that you can get away with i wouldn't say the graphics are crazy i mean they're kind of unique in terms of that so but it's still so rough around the edges and as professional as the game claims to be even the ui doesn't really seem pleasant to look at i feel like you've the game will put a heavy emphasis on just learning stuff then it might get away with all that but it needs to be polished in terms of the mechanics and just putting the liquids we'll have to see the trailer is not impressive at all so let's go bartending so i guess we do practice first because that will like give us hints and recipes for the drinks welcome at the nightclub bar you will learn how to prepare four drinks Americano, Cuba Libre, Moscow Mule, and Gin and Tonic. Please remember, you start preparing each beverage by placing a napkin on the bar. Do not put drinks on the napkin until they are ready to be served. To prepare drinks, hold the glass in your hand or place it on the metal drip dryer at the edge of the bar. Be precise when pouring ingredients. Extra points are rewarded for accuracy. Any wastefulness will result in you having to repeat the whole procedure from scratch. When you're ready, press the start, have fun, and good luck. The graphics are as bad as I thought. The glass is not even 3D, it's like a 2D layer. I mean, nothing's happening, okay. Yeah, it's just a flat screen stuff. I mean, no, <laughs> but let's see the gameplay. What happened? Uh, she's coming. Place Can I get an Americano? Take a long glass and fill it with ice cubes. There are no settings, at least in the game. To make him louder. My god, the drift is getting worse and worse. <laughs> It's like... <laughs> it works maybe like once at uh, 10 takes. There's no animation of ice cubes. They don't fall, so there are no physics. It's like even worse than in Horror Bar. Pour in 30 milliliters of Italian aperitif and 30 milliliters of sweet vermouth. Is there like a quantity to the bottle or is it infinite? I think it's infinite. Oops. Sweet Vermont. Pour in 80 milliliters of soda. 
soda. I can't even open stuff. Oh, it's a press of a button, of course. What about throwing? Nice. Super. 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 Nice. I mean, it works nice, like this, instead of the whole bar physics. <laughs> also infinite. I mean, we have quantities of the liquids and what to serve, so you can kind of learn the recipes, which is one of the positives I will be able to find here, I feel like. <laughs> on the napkin that's awesome thanks music is my life Place One gin and tonic, on the bar, please. okay this I feel like I should know not the quantities and fill it with ice cubes. but the overall recipe pour in 40 milliliters of gin and 100 milliliters of tonic It's like so inconsistent. Can I juggle it while open? Super. I keep forgetting to close the fridge. One line. Serve the drink on the napkin. That's awesome. Thanks. Moscow Mule. Take a mug and fill it with ice cubes. First time I hear about it. Pour in 40 milliliters of vodka and 100 milliliters of ginger beer. Nut polish? Ugh, disgusting. Uh uh. One milliliter too much. Can't we open this? Uh, <laughs> I'll choose my fingers, but... Okay. I wish the liquid would still be pouring, like... I don't really know what's that. Add one line. Serve the drink on the napkin. Seems disgusting. Okay. Oh, I earned a little nothing. <laughs> I guess let's see. I think it's gonna be just the same stuff with more intensity. It's time to check what you have learned. As soon as you press the start button on the screen, you will have 10 minutes to prepare as many drinks as possible. The drinks which you have already learned to make in the bar will be selected on the random basis. Please follow the rules that you have learned during the practice level. 
If you don't know how to prepare a particular drink, you can use prompts by hitting the hint button on the screen. But remember, each hint will result in a small deduction from your earnings. Try to earn as much money as possible in order to get the opportunity to learn more drinks in the next bar. Good luck! Oh, <laughs> I can switch. Disc player, nice. Wait, <laughs> this is Sam. Okay, that works as well. <laughs> what are all those... I guess fridges or ventilation points, I don't know. Maybe they're gonna unlock food there with more recipes. Let's see. Can I get an Americano? Oh. <laughs> I think I remember. But I'm not sure about the quantities. Oh, there's like a line. I mean, it should not be there. Because that seems too easy. Or maybe it disappears later. Oh, hell. Where did you learn bartending? Wait. It's awful. Really? Oh, it was with Salada. Hey! How did that slide? I think it was with lime. I mean, it was on the photo, but it disappeared. Mm, that's nice. awesome. Thanks. 12 bucks, so 10 drinks essentially. Like one a minute. Tonic with soda. Damn. I'd like a Moscow mule. Thanks. Thanks. Ah, this disgusting thing. Ah. It's also wasting my time if stuff don't work. Just with bitters, no? Super awesome, thanks. So those were all the recipes. Is it gonna repeat now? I would like one Americano. Thank you. Okay. Can I do that? But like the precision is out the window. Super. That's awesome. I mean, I'm Thanks. trying to remember the ingredients, but I think it's fairly convenient. Like, may I have one Moscow mule? I think I'll be able to make it later. Some of them, because I have some taste. 
Je tu zwłotka. But there is liquid inside. So I'm confused. <laughs> Oh, a napkin. It's like... You can't have stuff happening outside of the mechanics. It needs to be... Exactly <laughs> the thing. Oh my god, that smile. Hmm. One Cuba Libre, please. Thanks. <sighs> okay. I mean, I see what's going on. Let me see what's more in the menu. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five maps. With drink lists. 16. Okay. I mean, it's nice to learn some recipes for your own personal amusement. It's not like you can look it up on the internet, but making it kind of gets into your head. Besides that, there's not much more to say. Like, the physics are almost non existent. It's like a binary code 1 0 sequence where if you go outside of the system then it doesn't work the graphics as well just underwhelming there's not many redeeming qualities except for the fact that you make drinks yourself and with the memory like you can do them but that's pretty much it so i don't know about that 